Well, now we go down to Miami, Florida and get ready for today's matchup against the Miami Marlins as they wrap up this long road trip. We visit with Masson's Dan Coco and and Dan, there is some downtime sometimes for the Nats coaches and you've got a chance to be a part of something recently, a unique game that the Nats coaches enjoy playing. Byron, this all came about because Masson held a contest and the winner, James Collins, got to play fungo golf with Matt Williams. And I was lucky enough to get to tag along with them and play out on the field at Nationals Park. So what the heck is fungo golf? Well, it's a game that the Nationals coaches will play from time to time, both as a way to kind of pass the time, as you said, have a little fun and to condition. And it's essentially like Frisbee golf. If anyone out there has played that, you've got different holes and you set the the cup so to speak uh, in a certain spot and it's however many swings of the bat everybody has their own ball however many swings it takes you to get your ball into that particular hole and so we went all over the field at Nats Park and into the seats as well at one point and had different holes and played a little round of fungal golf and the Nats coaches will sprint between hole to hole so they're getting the workout in as they do it and it's a fun activity so we put together a little package of our day on the field at Nationals Park a fungal golf experience with Matt Williams. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, now we start for real. Oh, no. That's a shank delicious right there. Nice part two, fellas. Yeah, that's a tough part two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you know, it never fails, right? Drive for show, cut for dough. It's a pretty good swing, you know? Thank you. It's not too bad. It's, need a pinch hitter tonight? Now, does the par actually matter at all? Yeah, because we get to keep score. Oh, so you're still keeping score like it's a, yeah. like it's real golf. Yeah, like it's real golf. Okay. I think you just got it back. Ah! Close. Close, but no cigar. You ready for this hole? Yeah? yeah. You gonna chuck this thing? Yeah. That's solid frisbee form right there, too. Yeah. That's Maybe not in the seats, stands. is it? That's, That's in not the seats. seats. Par four into the seats. <laughs> Don't you love golf? Isn't it a great game? Go. Go. That could be Please nice. Go. That now could stop. be real nice. Now stop. Oh, oh no! That's at the wall. Man. Are we picking up yet? You're supposed to be quiet in the back spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. I want him a two-hand swing. Oh, that's money right there. Look at that. Pretty good, Daniel. Pretty good. I'm learning. Come on, That needs to bounce away a little bit. Come on. Bounce away. A little bit. Uh, <laughs> Come act on. Like, act like you've been there before. Okay. Matt. Sorry. Hey, boy, Dano. Who was the originator of Fungo Golf? Where did this all begin? Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure, certain we're, we're not the first. Not bad, Dan. That's solid. Not bad. That's hit my solid. Ball. <laughs> Come on. This is too easy. Somebody lost a ball. Can we get another ball, please? <laughs> of course. Hey, good swing. Thanks. Good swing. Yeah, thanks. Hi, baby. Coach put me on the bench again. Bye. Bounce off. That's good. Nope. That's a good try. Nope. It's hard to do. How long does it take for you to break it, Fungo? It takes a while. It needs to get hard. It needs to. Like, that. this one's got grooves in it. Uh -huh. You know, you when you play golf, it's like the most enjoyable tee shot when, when you're elevated tee. Sure. And the green is down there, and you feel like you could hit it forever. It's kind of what I can. Right now. Oh, my God. Here's here what we, we are. This is way right. up here. <laughs> yeah. up here God. Can oh you see the hole? You automatically win if you get it within 10 feet of that. Okay. Are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> that was almost a hole in one. I'm almost. Not, I'm not How long it, have you been planning this? Have you been up here every single day in. practicing? We practice all the time. That gives you a sense it of It hit work. off the flagstick. <laughs> almost. That's but ridiculous. But you putt for dough. So we kept score for a while from hole to hole. Matt was up uh, in the early stages. I kind of made a comeback. James was playing pretty solid. 
And then when we got to that final hole, the one from the upper deck, and Matt stuck it to about five feet or however close that was, just a ridiculous shot. We just determined that he was the walk-off winner there. There's no way anybody could top the skipper after that last shot, Byron. So that was a, it's a pretty fun afternoon, and it was cool to tag along and be a part of that.